Hi, Laurel Holland here. How are you today? It's Monday, June 18th, 2012. I don't know about you, but for me, the month of June is just flying by. It's just, it's just going by so quickly. I can't even, I don't even know what to say. It's just, it's a little overwhelming in some ways. And I started thinking about my Monday messages and my whole process this year and how I've just been on this interesting adventure for myself about learning how to make videos and learning how to speak to you through the medium of the internet. <clears throat> it's been quite quite some fun for me. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I think I've been growing and changing as I go along and learning some skills. And I think it's a great idea to consider it to be kind of like a metaphor or an example of a lot of the things really I'm trying to teach you. We're all trying to grow and develop and learn new skills in our own ways. And really, in the end, it's about being willing to get a little vulnerable, which I did. If you go back and, you know, after today, look at my video today and then go back to the beginning of the year and look at some of that I did at the beginning of the year. I mean, I was very vulnerable. I, I really didn't know what I was doing. My quality wasn't very good. And I think that in the end, what I really was trying to do was, was just speak to you as directly as I could and send you my heartfelt message and just share with you some, I think, really useful life skills, some useful perspectives and ideas about how to, how to look at the world and consider that, in fact, you're the powerful creator of your life. And if you start to believe that and feel that inside yourself, you start to take ownership of your life in a new way and that often means sometimes you feel like you need new skills, you need, you need to feel a little stronger, you need to feel a little more capable, a little more able to do the things that you want to do, to pursue what you want to pursue and to make some mistakes along the way while you're doing it. So I've certainly done that I think with my videos. You can go back and look and some of them are a little messy and, and they might have been considered mistakes but really I was just trying to speak to you and send a message out to you and I did that and and I, I like to think that um, I am growing and evolving myself in a particular kind of a way through this process and I hope that you are too. I hope we're walking a journey together in that way. Last week we were talking about building emotional muscle and I was reflecting on that a little bit this week and thinking about speaking to you today and and where did I want to go next. And I think that I I guess I really want to encourage you to to just keep working on building those emotional muscles. In the end, your ability to interact with the energetic emotional content that is naturally arising in you means ultimately your ability to exercise your authentic power really over you and your world. And I think what happens often is that when people are getting in touch with their emotional energy and they start to get a little afraid or they feel skill less rather than skillful in that area, then they often misuse their power and they do things that really don't feel very good to them or to the people around them. So I think this exploration of using your emotional energy and, and building those emotional muscles, the tolerance of being able to tolerate your emotional energy, identify it really well. Is this anger? Is this sadness? Is it a combination of these things? Is it fear? What's happening in me? And getting to the place where you know how to let that to tolerate, learn how to let that energy be there and move it, learn how to move it without harming anyone or harming yourself. And then, after it's moved, get to good, clear thinking to really consider what is my emotional content trying to tell me? How is it trying to help me navigate my life today? That's the question that you want to ask. So, keep working on building those emotional muscles. I hope you're, I hope you're getting to the gym every day, so to speak, and building those muscles, working it out. 
and uh, and know that you're really connecting with a place where you're going to have much more choice and much more freedom ultimately and that's going to feel really good and it's going to feel really good to the people around you too because you won't be misusing any of that emotional energy anymore. You'll be putting it to really awesome use. Have a great week.